Alright guys, welcome back to the Pit Stop, and today we're going to be replacing the servo on my Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. So today I'm going to be replacing the original servo with a steel servo. This is a plastic box with uh, steel gears inside. It's supposed to be exactly the same as the other one, just going to last a lot, lot longer. So this is going to fit in the same exact way as the original servo. So if you are replacing it with a stock servo, this video is going to be just as beneficial as any other. All right, so I'm going to start by unscrewing those two screws there, and those two right there, and those three right there. Alright, so we are also going to have to remove those screws right in there. Alright, so now we are ready to remove the bumper. Alright, so two more screws that I just forgot just now is there's one down in there and one down in there. So now after doing that, it released that thing right in there, which is screwed up and through there. So that came down and so now the whole front end is real loose. The only thing holding this front end on is the linkage connecting to that servo. Now you need to unscrew that tiny little screw there. All right, so this screw is really small, so you're gonna wanna keep real good track of this one. So I have all my screws laid out on this blue paper in separate piles, and so I have it marked down in memory where each one of these goes. But it might be smart to put labels on them because it can be really, really confusing if you can't remember these six groups of screws. In some projects, when you're working on your cars, have even more screws that you're working with. Little ones, big ones, and it's just really complicated. And we've got the entire front assembly off the car. All right, so now you can see just how accessible that servo is now. So now you just wanna take these four screws out here. All right, so next, after you have all four of those screws, out, you can flip the car around, and we gotta open up the receiver box. All right, now you can open it up and unplug your servo. Unscrew that screw and that screw so that you can feed this wire through the box. All right, and we've got this little box off, and you can go ahead and pull that wire through like so. Now, you can simply pull your servo out. All right, so now that we have the old servo out, we can start installing the new one. All right, so first, you wanna feed the wire up through and outside the top of your RC car, like so. Then, you're gonna to wanna to put it through that little spot there. and plug it in to your receiver. Now it's time to close up the receiver box. And to do so, 
you're going to want to be very careful that you get this rubber seal perfectly in the lining on the side of the box so that it stays perfectly nice and waterproof. Then you can set the lid on and screw it back together. All right, now you can seal on this small cover here. Make sure these wires are facing out the front in the little slots. All right, so now you can feed in that cord the rest of the way and slide in your servo like so. Then screw it in. All right, so now before you do anything else, we're gonna wanna turn on the car and then it'll have the servo set to the center and then we'll put on the linkage after we know that it's all centered up. Because what happens if you don't do that is you'll get all the linkage on and then as soon as you turn it on, the car will just go whoop and then turn one way because that's its center point or turn this way because that's its center point. Whereas if you turn it on before you put on the linkage, then you know exactly that when, when you turn it on when it's all linked up, it's gonna the wheels are gonna be facing nice and straight and gonna turn right and turn left perfectly fine. All right, so now the servo is set right where it needs to be. So it's not veering off to one side, we know it's right on center. Now, we can turn off the car and the radio, because now we know that servo is perfectly in center. So now, as long as we don't move anything, we can hook the linkage back up. All right, so the rest is quite self-explanatory. All you're gonna do is make sure the wheels are straight when you put out, when you hook the linkage back up with that tiny little screw into the servo. If you do that, it doesn't have to be like exactly spot on because the trim on the remote can adjust it the little ways, just as long as you make sure those wheels are pretty much quite straight when you hook up the linkage, it should be good. You're good to put the rest of the car back together. And I think that's also quite self-explanatory. Right, so I just got it all put together and it should be ready to run. So what do you say we go take it out and test it? All right, so it's all back together and we're just gonna test to make sure it's working all properly. And it should be. It's turning both ways. It's turning sharp that way, sharp that way. So it should be good. And that is how you install a servo on the Traxxas Wrestler 4x4 VXL. See you next time at the pit stop. Thank you.